Okay, folks, please take your seats. Uh, we're going to, to begin. And uh, I, I really ap apologize that we're going to be turning off Bach in favor of myself. <laughs> um, and uh, so uh, please come on in, take a seat. And uh, uh, I want to welcome you all to the 13th annual uh, conference on the physics, chemistry, and biology of, of water. Um, some of you who have been here know the, the history, but I just, for the newcomers, I see a, a lot of new faces. Uh, if you'll pardon me, let me just go over a little bit of background to acquaint you and uh, to, uh, hello, Elmar, <laughs> uh, to see uh, where we've come from. Uh, what about prior to the 13th? We started in Vermont. And uh, you can count back how many years. And if you look at some of the people here, you'll see, I look carefully, I found at least two people who were at the first one in, in Vermont. There's a guy over there who um, has more hair uh, over here than, than today. And I also found one more kneeling at, at the front who uh, has a few more wrinkles than he did 13 years ago. But anyway, we started there and we moved from Vermont to Bulgaria. And you may ask, why did we move to Bulgaria from Vermont? Vermont is a rather beautiful place. And there are a number of reasons. Uh, one has to do with Mr. Germanoff and, and his, his uh, willingness to, to sponsor the conference. But besides that, Bulgaria is famous for its springs, its mineral springs. And I don't know the exact figure. I read somewhere that it was something like 60% uh, like or 50% of all the springs in Europe are located in Bulgaria. The Romans knew about it, the Greeks knew about it, and they sent their most important people for healing uh, using the, the waters, uh, uh, mineral waters of uh, Bulgaria. And I read this morning that the amount of water that comes out of these is more than the amount of bottled water that's consumed per day. So it's a lot of water that we have here. So it's a appropriate and fitting that we have a conference in Bulgaria. And some of you I know have gone to the, for example, the Rila Monastery. Uh, it's a, a wonderful, peaceful, uh, kind of contemplative, kind of place. If you haven't been there, I highly recommend it. And there are public baths also in Sofia, and this one about 20 kilometers from, from the center of, of Sofia. So it's a great place if you like water, or if you have interest in water, which I hope some of you do. Uh, and Sofia, well, you know, uh, it's not exactly Paris or Rome, but Sofia has many interesting things to see. If you take a, uh, a brief tour of Sofia, you can, you can see some. And I think a day's tour is r really rich with, with opportunity. And some of this, this is a, in a, an old monastery. Uh, someone help me with the name of it? Boyana, Boyana, yeah. And I visited, it's wonderful. It's absolutely worth a trip to Bulgaria to see these old frescoes. Um, now we, the meeting is, the conference is different from other conferences in that we have some heroes, some, some people who over the years we've come to appreciate greatly. And among them, at least my favorite of all, is um, the, the father of modern biochemistry, Albert St. Georgi, who discovered vitamin C and won a Nobel Prize, et cetera, et cetera. He was a hero of many people. And the most famous of his many quotes, I think, is, life is water dancing to the tune of solids. He knew that water was absolutely central for everything in biology. There are many other pithy quotes from Albert St. Georgi. One of the ones I like is, uh, science is seeing what everybody else has seen and thinking what nobody else has thought. Uh, I think this, is, uh, this capsule is quite brilliant. Another hero of ours is Jacques Benveniste, who passed in 2004. Um, and Jacques uh, was essentially crucified by the editor of Nature and essentially lost his career. And his work has been, has been uh, duplicated by many people since then. Um, of course, Emilio del Giudice, who came to these meetings annually, uh, 
a warm, philosophical, renaissance man who uh, was a pioneer in the area of coherent domains. Uh, we, we miss him greatly. And the ebullient Meiwan Ho, who passed a, a couple of years ago, who was also an, an artist and um, uh, a, a commanding presence when, when she was around, highly articulate, and talked a lot about water and the importance of water memory and information and such. But these, are, these heroes are gone and we need young people to take their place. If I look around, I see a few young faces, but not so many. And so if there's, if there's one suggestion to you out there, let your young people know what's happening at these meetings. Otherwise, this is going to peter out. Uh, it's, of course, a, a field that's beset with controversy, and people, people who are in the field of water don't really know and understand all of the controversial material uh, that has appeared over the years. It starts, I think it starts, uh, in the late 1960s with the poly water debacle. And that started with Boris Deryagin, a Russian who was the, the premier physical chemist in all of Russia. He discovered a kind of, uh, of water that behaved more like a polymer of water than as individual, an individual collection of molecules. And um, as a result of that, because it behaved like a polymer, when it finally got to the West, it became highly controversial. And some people even thought that if you took some of this water, because it tends to polymerize, and you dropped it in the ocean, the entire ocean would polymerize, and all life would be extinct after the, uh, the water on the earth was no, no longer available to, to drink. So that, that created quite a, quite a stir. And then there's Gilbert Ling, um, who talked about water inside the cell. And Gilbert maintained, based on a good deal of evidence, that the water inside the cell was not like water in a, in a glass, that the water molecules were ordered in some way. Uh, he's the author of some seven books. He's now 99 years old and alive and kicking. And his work, of course, became controversial. And then the Jacques Benveniste, who, who I mentioned, who had evidence that the water could store information. And he made the mistake of using the term water memory. As I said, his work has been widely confirmed. But uh, at the time, the idea that water could store information uh, was just beyond beyond the pale, and so this was a this was an embarrassment to uh, modern science. You know, they would would say, "Oh, you're having trouble remembering? Drink some of Benveniste's water, and that will help bring back your memory." So it was a it was re really a um, embarrassment for French science. Uh, French science uh, maintaining uh, so many heroes, and then came Jacques Benveniste and water memory, which tended to destroy all of all of the reputation of, of French science. There's also Masaru Emoto, who demonstrated uh, as a spiritualist that you can um, offer prayer to water and the ice crystals that... Hi, Michiko. Uh, <laughs> okay, you guys take a seat. Speaking of... Masaru Emoto, we have a couple of representatives here, uh, demonstrated that the shape of the ice crystals after, after the ice crystals form depended, depended on the prayer that you could offer or the sound or uh, what have you. And obviously, among scientists, that became highly controversial. And we have our next speaker, Luc Montagnier, uh, who is going to be talking about transmission of information from DNA and water, equally controversial. We have a great pleasure of uh, Luke's presentation, which will follow. So the conference is really about uncovering the hidden secrets of water. And uh, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you who have come from distant places. I think we have a record number of participants, something like 150. We've had almost that number, but not quite that. People have come from uh, Australia. Uh, from Europe, from uh, Japan, uh, and, and other places I, I, I haven't kept track, but from afar. And I'd like to thank the, the local organizers, uh, especially Evgeny Germanov. Uh, 
Yeah. Where are you? <laughs> are you around? Okay, could you raise your hand so everybody knows who you are? Okay. And Maya Listina, who is the sort of main coordinator of everything? <laughs> Maya, are you here? You got lots of applause, but I don't know where you are. <laughs> oh, okay, we found her. Uh, and then the local organizing committee, uh, whose names are numerous, and so I apologize because I have trouble pronouncing them anyway. Uh, <laughs> okay. And of course, a, a hearty round of applause for our sponsors, uh, without whom this, is, this would be uh, difficult, so um, please pay some attention to them. Uh, okay. Um, and and um, uh, the media partners uh, as, as well, and since you're in the habit of applause, let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so what to expect at the conference. From the practical point of view, um, I should say first that the toilets are outside. It says WC. <laughs> and you'll find that the WC is for men and women. <laughs> uh, and it includes all food, including uh, coffee breaks and, and such. And the proceedings are, are recorded on video. There'll be live streaming. And they should be available afterward uh, as well. Uh, so on Saturday in the afternoon, there's an approximately four-hour break, uh, and there's a choice. So there's going to be a tour of, of Sophia, and I don't know details of the tour, but probably Maya is the one to ask, uh, and she'll be making some announcement. There's also, if you have seen Sophia and are interested, there's a seminar on infoceuticals. Uh, with, with uh, some Bulgarian presentations, and you can visit the exhibitions as, as well. Okay, so your choice. Sunday transport to the airport. Uh, there are two people in charge, and they're standing right here, and I apologize, could you raise your hands? So just look at these two folks, and if you need some help, please find them. Okay, they're going to be coordinating your transport to the airport. Uh, advice to speakers, finally, um, I should have communicated with you before, and I'm probably going to be guilty of violating this suggestion, but if you, take, if you could cut 10% of your slides, and I realize this is late because you've submitted your slides, that will leave some time for questions. Of course, everybody wants to present as much data as possible using every microsecond, but it's much better if, if, we, if we have some questions. So. So please think about skipping a slide or two as you go along. And finally, um, please pay attention. Uh, if you have interesting material to submit, I invite you to submit to our water journal, which has been in existence for some years uh, now and is doing quite well. Uh, it's an online journal with many, many interesting contributions. So I, I think I'm going to leave that um, and um, I'm going to introduce two people who are going to be two Bulgarian people who are representatives of, of uh, various ministries. And the first, uh, I, let me read their names uh, together. The first will be a representative of the Ministry of Environment and Water. Remember, water is really important here. The minister is Nino Dimov. And um, his deputy, Ms. Uh, um, Anna Taska Nikolova, uh, will give a f say a few words. And after that, a representative of the Minister of Health, Kirill Ananiev, uh, will Dr. Ivo um, Atanasov will be saying a few words as well. So I yield the floor to to them to uh, please, if you'd like to. Uh, present here with this microphone, if that works for you. Uh. Oops. Dear conference participants, dear ladies and gentlemen, dear professor, I am pleased and honored to take part in today's conference and to greet you on behalf of the Ministry of Environment and Water of Republic of Bulgaria. Water 
being the media where life emerged so long back in, back in history is the biosphere component of enormous significance. The only substances to be found in nature in its three forms, or in four forms, Professor? Some of us. <laughs> <laughs> Continues to, to be subject of physic, physical, chemical, and biological mysteries revealed. Water is life, not only for human beings, but for all creatures of our planet. Nowadays, in addition to its life-supporting and life-sustaining functions, water has increasing social and economic value and importance. Water is a core factor for sustainable development and uh, green economy. The current climate change period requires more than ever an optimal and efficient use of limited water resources and then clear integrated water management policy that will ensure sustainable development. Water management in Bulgaria is based on broad national consensus and the Ministry of Environment and Water seeks to unite the efforts of institutions on a national and local level, businesses, non-governmental organizations, academia and uh, general public. For the Ministry of Environment and Water in Bulgaria, integrated water management is a key priority in its policy. The main strategic objective in water management is to achieve and maintain the good status of all surfaces and groundwater and water protected areas, the marine environment, and to re reduce the risk of floods and the harmful effects. Implementing measures for sustainable water management requires huge economic resources and human capacity. Thus, innovations and scientific breakthroughs in physics, chemistry, and biology of water and in the valuable of our, in our efforts for ensuring water in sufficient quantity and good quality for water users, including the ecosystems. Bulgarian scientists are long-standing partners of the Ministry of Environment and Water and based on our experience in this cooperation, we look forward to widening possibility for the scientists' policy nexus. I would like to wish the conference participants success in their endeavors and look forward to further sti stimulating scientific results in support of our common mission, preserving water in good status for the future generations. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much. I, I and I, I regret to say that the representative of the Minister of Health is not here, maybe caught in traffic, I'm not sure. So we'll just proceed to the first session. May I call up the chairs, uh, Vladimir, and we'll get prepared for session number one. Uh, okay.